spend a few hours on any Saturday afternoon meandering around Roslindale Village, along Corinth, near Washington and South Streets. Amble your way through some of the trendy boutique shops that line the square. Enjoy a casual lunch at any one of several chic urban bistros, leaving room perhaps for some gourmet ice cream or a tasty Greek pastry. And then, when your stomach is full and your feet are weary, pull yourself up on a park bench in historic Adams Park and enjoy the sights, sounds, and smells of an authentic and bustling farmer's market. Do this, if only for an afternoon, and you will know Roslindale. Maybe not all there is to know, but enough to leave you wanting more. And more to see and enjoy in Rosendale there most certainly is, much more. Once considered a garden suburb of Boston, Rosendale to this day boasts of plenty of natural beauty. In fact, the name Rosendale was suggested by a local resident and seasoned traveler who said it reminded him of the beautiful historic town of Roslyn, Scotland, outside Edinburgh. And since it is surrounded by rolling hills, it was thought to be like a dale. Thus the town was aptly named Roslyn Dale. Well, Roslyn Dale is a great neighborhood to live uh, for a number of reasons and to work. Um, I think one of the things that people talk about a lot with Roslyn Dale is um, First of all, it has a very unique and special layout. Um, we have, we're one of the only neighborhoods in the whole city with a village green, and it's just been beautifully maintained. It's a very central place. We have a farmer's market there every Saturday during the summer and uh, concerts in the evenings, and it's just a wonderful place to go and hang out. Um, the whole neighborhood is really, really feels like a village. Um, hence the name, and that's a name that's gone back to the 19th century, actually. And uh, it's a very walkable area. You can park your car, and um, there's lots of independent markets to do your shopping at. We have two butchers, six bakeries. Um, we have some award-winning restaurants that are very homey, excellent food. Very diverse community, rich with culture. It reminds me a lot of Europe. You know, I, I drive by this area in the morning and I see uh, old timers sitting around these benches and they're all talking and drinking coffee, playing backgammon sometimes. And I just, to me, that, that is just such a beautiful sight. I love that. The abundance of natural beauty tucked in and around these rolling hills dotted with lush green meadows can be seen at its most pristine at the Arnold Arboretum, a 265-acre oasis that is part of Boston's world-renowned Emerald Necklace, a place where locals walk, bike, relax, and on a certain Sunday in May, smell the lilacs. In addition, Rosendale also lays claim to two public parks, Fallon and Healy Fields, where children and adults alike can find plenty of fun games to play. Baseball, basketball, soccer. Whatever your outdoor pleasure, Rosendale has ample resources to satisfy your health and fitness needs. I think that Rosendale is, um, has a lot of natural green space that's really welcoming and, and nice to have within a city limits. And we have an organization called Green and Clean that has worked really hard to uh, landscape the public areas, which you know are really beautiful, and, and uh, they've added a lot to the natural outlook of, of landscape of the uh, community. Uh, we have the Arnold Arboretum, we have Adams Park, which is, which is very unusual for a small neighborhood to have such a significant space that events can take place in and has lots of greenery. And then, of course, there's the George Wright Golf Course. That's right, a nine-hole golf course in the heart of Boston that calls the neighborhoods of Roslindale and High Park its own. It's also worth noting that Roslindale is home to many large single-family, colonial, and multifamily properties, surrounded by tree-lined streets and spacious yards. Roslindale has a rich history. Uh, I think the neighborhood is great. We have a lot of great Victorian houses and houses with big yards. Um, we have Metropolitan Hill, which you can look out and see the skyline of the city of Boston. And you can actually see the fireworks from there on the 4th of July. Um, 
we have a good, strong business district. I think the best thing about Rosendale is that all the community groups work together. Um, you know, from Healthy Rosendale, the ABCD, the business community, we've made it strong, a strong neighborhood with a lot of good people in it, a safe neighborhood, and uh, I think that's the best part of Rosendale.